And I was Ms. Maliotakis from New York for five minutes of questions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I think many of us in the committee are really disturbed by re revelations to this committee um, that there were officials at NIH that deleted government records, they deleted personal or they used personal information, personal emails to communicate and circumvent freedom of information laws. Um, so I, I just had a couple of questions about that. Dr. Fauci, did you delete any emails or records related to the Wuhan lab or the origins of the virus? No, I did not. Okay. Uh, Dr. Morins said in a 2020, May 2021 email, he indicated that uh, he was connecting people to you in a, quote, secret back channel. Do you know what he was referring to? I don't have any idea what he's talking about. There is no back channel at NIAID. Okay, there is, uh, he also said in another email that there is no worry about Freedom of Information uh, Act. I can send stuff to Tony on his private email. Did you communicate with anyone uh, relate, relating to anything regarding NIH or with Dr. Morins on a private email? I do not do government business on my private email. Okay, so, was there, so have you communicated with Dr. Morins via private email, even if it was not necessarily your definition of government business? It, it might have been because, as I mentioned in my opening statement, one of his functions is to write chapters, medical scientific chapters with me, so it is conceivable that I communicated with him on, a, on my private email when we were writing a chapter, and that was not official. What business. about Peter Daszak? No. Okay. Um, I just want to clarify for the record, because today you testified that you did not suppress the lab leak theory, yet in the past you have said, quote, it is a distortion of reality, unquote. You've said, quote, I've heard these conspiracy, conspiracy theories, and like all conspiracy theories, they're just conspiracy theories. That's what you told the American people. And so would you like to clarify what science were you following then versus yeah, now? Yeah, no, I, actually I've also been very, very clear and said multiple times that I don't think the concept of there being a lab leak is inherently a conspiracy theory. What is conspiracy is the kind of distortions of that particular subject, like it was a lab leak and I was parachuted into the CIA like Jason Bourne and told the CIA that they should really not be talking okay. about a lab leak. Thank you. That's um, the conspiracy. Appreciate that. Dr. Fauci, um, how much have you earned from royalties from pharmaceutical companies since the pandemic began in 2021? Zero. It says NIH scientists made 710 million in royalties from drug make makers. Uh, you're saying that you, you did not receive any of the $710 million. On COVID, I received, I think, $122 for, an e for an, a monoclonal antibody that I made 27 years ago. Okay, so just in general, though, how much have you received, not, not related to COVID, just in general, how much have you received in royalties between 2021 and 2023? I think none. Okay, so somebody received the $710 Somebody million. did, but not me. You didn't receive any royalties, okay. I, mean, I see no royalties associated with COVID. I mentioned, I'm on the record and I wanna make sure that this is clear, that I've developed a monoclonal antibody about 25 years ago that's used as a diagnostic that has nothing to do with COVID and I receive an average of about $120 a year from that okay. patent. But the bottom line here is that scientists at NIH uh, did receive $710 million in royalties. And I guess my question is, don't you think that if these experiments are made using American tax dollars, that any of those royalties, this nearly billions of dollars, should be going back to the American taxpayer, not in the pockets of the scientists? Do you believe that's a law that we should consider changing? Uh, if you want to change the patent laws and the, and, and, and the Bayh-Dole Act, then go ahead. Okay. <laughs> but th that's not for me to well, say. I'm asking your opinion. Okay. Well, anyway, um, moving on, I just want to say that, uh, you know, we know billions of dollars have been funding these animal experiments, both here domestically and in foreign uh, lands. I'm very troubled by the uh, animal, the cruel, horrific animal research that has been done on U.S. land and in foreign laboratories of Taxpayers are footing the bill for billions of dollars. These beagle puppies that have their, uh, these, their throats slit, uh, they're being injected with ticks, they are murdered after uh, just a few months. Um, piglets, rabbits, you name it. FDA is saying we no longer need to be uh, testing uh, human medications on animals, that there's other ways to achieve this. 
Um, can you comment on that, if it's time for the United States of America to be moving on from these cruel animal and horrific costly tests? I, I'd be happy to comment, then, but I'm puzzled as to what that has to do with the origins of COVID. Well, I have a question about it. Okay, and I'd be happy this to committee, answer. And it has to do in general with yeah. the amount of waste of tax dollars right. that NIH is using. Well, the animal experiments that are conducted by and funded by NIH go through strict uh, uh, regulations of the proper use of animals in research. So I'm not, Congressman, with all due respect, I'm not trying to be confrontative. I, I'm not sure what you're talking about, but the experiments that the NIH funded go through strict regulatory processes of the treatment of animals, the humane treatment of animals. Well, they're not very humane, and I will say, as the former director, you, 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 you signed off on these experiments, and so my time has expired, and we will... Well, I signed off on them because they were approved by a peer review. Now recognize Ms. Dingell from Michigan for five minutes.